So I thought I'd review the HD 201s because when I was actually looking for them, I couldn't find a proper decent review on uh, on YouTube. So I thought I'd do actually a proper review. Um, I actually bought these because I was after a pair of headphones that didn't leak sound. Um, I used to work in an office that was insanely, insanely quiet. Like you could hear a pin drop; it was ridiculous. Um, and I wanted a pair of headphones that I could um, I could chuck in and didn't leak sound, so that my colleagues couldn't li listen to my impeccable music taste um, and moan about it and all that other stuff. So I picked up these. I picked up these because um, somebody uh, I speak to on Skype quite a bit, Evanux on Twitter, um, had got a pair and they, he recommended them. Uh, and I couldn't. I was doing like a little bit of research. I couldn't really find out very much about how much sound they actually leak. Uh, and they basically they just don't leak sound. At low to medium volumes, they don't leak sound. At high volumes, they leak a little bit. But if you're on a train or if you're in a reasonably busy office environment with people talking, nobody's going to really notice. Um, and they're insanely, insanely good for that. In terms of their actual uh, sound quality, the sound quality is in insanely, insanely good. These cost 17 quid, but to be honest, the, amount of the, the sound quality they produce, I quite happily pay about 50 quid for them. Um, the, the, highs and the, low, uh, the highs and the mids are kind of a little bit flat. Um, they kind of tail off towards the end, but um, they're, they're really, 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 really good. Um, I mean, they, they, they give my HD 595s a run for the money. They give my uh, Bose speakers a run for the money. They are insanely, insanely good, um, especially for 17 quid. I mean, you know, for 17 quid, just go out and buy them. Seriously, they're that great. Um, the, the downsides to them are that they're not very comfortable. The the sort of the pads around around the ears don't really actually rest on your head, especially for me. I've got quite big ears, and my ears rest inside the cups, um, which are kind of it's obviously what they're supposed to do. But the because the foam padding around the outside isn't thick enough, it doesn't actually rest on my head. They kind of rest on my ears, which kind of hurts. Kind of after about half an hour, I have to take a break because um, it kind of just it just it makes my ears hot. It's not very comfortable, um, and so the bit the headband at the top is really good. You can tell they actually do cost 17 quid though. The actual build quality is a little bit, mm, it's a little bit questionable. Things like the wires aren't that thick. Um, I mean, talking about the wire, the, the wire is insanely, insanely long, which is um, still going three meters in length, which is good and bad. Um, it's good if the audio source is miles away. I do like long cables if the audio source is miles away. But it's bad because A, it increases noise. Um, so obviously the longer the cable, the more... The more coppers actually got access to the outside world, which is going to create more noise. Um, also, when you say when you're sitting down and uh, if you're at your desk and the audio source is quite close, you're going to get caught up and things like that. You're going to get caught in the casters of your chair. Um, and if you're on the train, which I take this on the train quite a bit, it's kind of it. You know, you've got this massive wire that you're not too sure what to do with. In actual fact, these are insanely good for the train. I use these on the train all the time. They're more comfortable than using in-ear headphones because I tend to find that in-ear headphones give me all sorts of trouble because they're just not that comfortable after after quite a while. They just don't feel really great. And I've got some really, really great in here, in here, in-ear head um, earphones, and they, and they are um, they're brilliant. They're just sort of they're just not that comfortable after extended periods, and so that's why I use these. Um, and say so they're in, they're easy to put on and off as well, which is great. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, say they're they're really really great headphones across the board. Um, the highs and the mids insanely good. A little bit flat, but really really good for a pair of headphones. that cost 17 quid. They should cost a darn sight more. The bass is insanely good. I'll put a link in the description below of the playlist I always use to test all my audio gear. Um, it's a kind of quite a comprehensive list of of songs that I use. Really, really bassy stuff. Some like sort of uh, acoustic kind of stuff in there as well. So really, really great stuff. So I'll put like that, that in the link in the description below if you want to know what I actually use to test headphones and everything else. Um, but apart from that, I should catch you in a later video.